How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite aviation channel and today I'm finally bringing to you all another airport update for St. Thomas Cyril E. King International Airport. This is only the sixth update but it has been a very long time since I last did a St. Thomas airport update. Um, I think the last time I did a St. Thomas update on this channel was beginning of the summer, so like late May, um, and now it's late November so it has been a good five and a half, six months since the last St. Thomas update. Um, airport has not really changed a whole lot since you last saw it, um, but I was able to add a few models that I've been needing for the airport for quite some time. Um, I kept mentioning in previous updates how um, I had to use other aircraft as, you know, substitutes for these specific planes, but, you know, finally companies like Gemini Jets and NG Models um, released a few of them, so I was able to add some of those to the fleet, and um, I'll be showing those for the first time in this airport update. So um, you can probably see one of them already in the background, but we will get to that when we get to it. So um, let's get started with the video. Um, this update is number six, obviously, and it's based between three to 4 p.m. So decently busy. Um, St. Thomas has maintained a pretty busy schedule. Um, even now during the fall season, there's still quite a bit of flights coming in, especially from the U.S. mainland. Um, and a bunch of flights that I thought initially were seasonal, like JFK to St. Thomas and uh, Chicago to St. Thomas. I thought those were initially summer seasonal, but it looks like those are um, year-round, it looks like, or I'm not sure. But we'll talk more about that later, I guess. So let's get started with the video. Um, eight planes total in this video, so it shouldn't take um, too long, I hope. Um, so there's a brief overview. The airport's basically the same as you last saw it, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so let's get started with the runway. Um, right here we have uh, just rolling down the runway, um, about to rotate, you know, take off out of St. Thomas. This is the um, United 737-700 in the new livery um, by NG Models. Added this a few months back, um, so I've had it for a while. Um, and this, this aircraft is operating flight number uh, 365 back to Chicago O'Hare. I mean, it came in from Houston. So United has some interesting schedules here at St. Thomas. Um, so the aircraft, they don't originate and terminate in the same place. If you, if you'll if you understand it, if you understand what I'm saying, um, this aircraft, for example, is going to Chicago, but it came in from Houston. Um, so United does like to mix and match their planes at St. Thomas. For example, they'll have a plane coming from Newark, and then that same plane will continue onwards to Houston, and then similarly they'll have a plane coming from Houston and then that plane will go to Chicago or that plane will go to Newark. So, um, like this aircraft is two one se November 21723, that's the registration. Um, this aircraft didn't come from Chicago, it came from, I guess, I, I think it came from Houston, and then it's gonna, it's going back to, it's going to Chicago right now. So, um, hopefully you understand where I'm going with this. United doesn't um, dedicate one aircraft to a certain turn. Um, they kind of mix and match the origin and destination for the certain plane. So again, this came in from like Houston or something, and uh, now it's on takeoff roll back to, or headed to Chicago. So, yeah. All right, moving over here to gate number two. Um, get some better lighting. There we go. Uh, we have the Spirit Airbus A319, which is pulling into gate two, uh, arriving from Orlando as flight 284. It's a fairly new route. I think they added this earlier in the year or late last year. Um, and then Spirit is pretty much, I think they pretty much have brought all their A319s back into service. They were stored um, for a very long time during the pandemic, but because of demand returning and, you know, people flying, um, I think passenger numbers are, in the U.S. at least, are back to pre-pandemic. They've probably surpassed pre-pandemic levels by now, but um, because of the increase in demand, Spirit brought back basically their entire um, Airbus A319 fleet. So I'm assuming most, if not all, of their fleet is back to being active, which is pretty cool. So this aircraft is operating uh, from, it just came in from Orlando, it's going to go back to, to Orlando in about um, an hour or so. And then here's the first, or sorry, that's the second new model, this was the first one. Um, here's the second one. Um, this is the American Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8, which is here from Miami as Flight 928. It's going to go back to Miami soon as well. Um, St. Thomas is frequented by the MAX from American St. Thomas and um, St. Croix as well. Um, so you'll see the 737 MAX, you'll also see the American A319s with Sharklets. Those are the two most common um, aircraft from American that you'll see at St. Thomas. 
Um, occasionally, they will bring a 738, a standard 737 800 from Miami, but for the most part, um, they're operating the 737 MAX 8 um, from Miami. So there we go there. And then at gate number four, we have the Delta 757-200, my favorite aircraft that currently flies to St. Thomas regularly because it's a 757, and I can't associate St. Thomas with any aircraft other than the 757 because, at least when I was in St. Thomas, all I saw were, you know, American and Delta 757s, and obviously like JetBlue A320s and United 737s, but I saw so many of these 757s. So whenever I think of St. Thomas, I think of 757s. Um, so this is the Delta 757-200. Uh, came in from Atlanta as, I think that's flight 850 or 1850 from Atlanta or Citrus Aviations Airport. And it's going to go back out to Atlanta in about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. And then moving over here to the gate number 7. Um, one aircraft that doesn't fly to St. Thomas regularly and one that I still need to get the actual aircraft. Um, American, like I've mentioned in previous videos, they currently operate their Sharklet A319s, the ones that are legacy American. You know, they have Sharklets and I guess they're better, you, they're, they're more useful for these um, smaller island airports. Um, but I don't have the Sharklet version, I have the standard legacy US Airways version with the um, wingtip fences. This is the Allegheny Retro VistaJet A319. This is operating Flight 1195 from Charlotte just came in from Charlotte. It's going to go back out to Charlotte in about an hour. And over here we have another, uh, this is the third and final um, somewhat new model of the update. This is the United 737-700 in the standard older livery um, by NG Models. And the American 737 MAX was by Gemini Jets. I don't think I mentioned that, but um, this 737-700 just came in from Houston as Flight 1908 and is going to continue onwards to, I believe, Newark. I think they go to Newark after, but who knows. But yeah, really good model. As you probably remember in the past, I was always using the 737-800, but finally NG Models released three United 737-700 liveries recently. I got all three of them. The, this one, the new livery, and the Star Alliance. You'll probably see Star Alliance in the next update, but i um, not too sure about that. But yeah, really good to finally have the 737-700s in the fleet, in the collection been needing those for a really long time. All right, and then two more planes uh, right here. So this right here is the um, Air Cargo Carriers Shorts 360, and this is heading out for San Juan, Puerto Rico, as usual, as flight 385. Just a quick, almost 30 minute flight between the two islands there. Um, so he's just taxiing out for departure. And then last aircraft, I just thought I'd include it, because why not? This is the um, I guess Silver Airways or Seaborne Saab 340 is just sitting here and uh, it'll operate flight to San Juan later or something. It's just sitting here. I just have it for decoration basically. Alright, so that concludes the airport update. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was slightly long. Well, actually this is pretty average for St. Thomas. Eight and a half, nine minutes. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and um, comment with any feedback or any suggestions you might have for future videos. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and all that good stuff. And that's it. Thank you very much once again, and hopefully I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, take care, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.